Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long more of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're going to take an operation in West Africa, it's time for Operation Half Dead Law, <coughs> where we are recovering an item and interdict uh, the Advent Military Research and Development. It is time to take a look at the squad first and foremost, we got a couple of really high cal caliber um, people in here. Uh, Divot is going to lead the charge with uh, Mike Bravo together, so sharpshooter gunner. We got a specialist quick feed with us, uh, technician assault and a shinobi, so pretty well versed team. And we're going to fight against 13 to 15 enemies. I'm not going to boost the infiltration any further. I think we're going to be fine as is. So let's jump right into it and kick some alien ass. Good, we landed. Time to take a look. How many rounds do we have? We've got a bead on the Nine. Near your position. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before it's caught. Well, destroyed. that is pretty far away. Gosh. Yeah, nine rounds are not a lot. Do we have... No, we also don't have any... We don't have any abilities to prolong the timer normally if you do have a lieutenant uh, you can prolong the timer unfortunately swordsman here is not yet a lieutenant we're therefore needing to really speed this up quite a bit let's move up I'm on the move. take the high ground Looks like hostiles over here. oh gosh Well, this is going to be interesting. Got some mutants over here. I don't want to go anywhere close of them. Because that'll just increase the chance of us essentially triggering a pack. Also, you don't want to really mess with them. Uh, in melee. So instead, this here might be the right position. Over here. Yeah, we could still find another pack, so that's not the perfect position. Let's instead position ourselves over here. That'll give us the ability to take shots. We better kill the mutant right away from the get-go. Like Bravo. Yeah. I like the idea of him being in high uh, on a high ground position, but I think I much rather ta uh, put him down here. We're going to engage the pack next turn. We don't have enough time to play around. Beat, beat. All right, quick feeds here. On my way. Is moving up, and can we? Shut it down with 100%. That would actually be helpful. Mm. That way we can engage the other pack without any problems. Oh yeah, wonderful. We can shut it down. 100% chance. That's good. I like it. Good. That'll make it easier. I am considering, I mean, we could start with a rocket. The problem with that is I think we're going to use it a bit later.
So instead, let's get closer. Maybe almost over here. A flamethrower start would also be really, really cool if we could pull this one off. Good. We're shifting our force all the way over here. And next turn we're going to engage. Oh, maybe they are in range for flamethrower. Maybe. Just barely. That would be super cool to hit multiples of them. The purifier couldn't be really hurt with flamethrower. But hitting three of them with a flamethrower definitely would be a very valuable strike. Ooh, just one shy, but I think it's still the right play. All right. Question of the day is going to be... By the way, do we have Blade Storm? No, we don't. Um, because elsewise we could simply move up and take three hits. Yeah, we don't have that. Okay, we're... Are we going to Overwatch and Overwatch trap them? Nah, I think we're going to be fine. I much rather would like to take really solid positions on them. So this year will hopefully burn two of them. Okay, there is a good chance that more of them are going to burn. Yep, two of them are burning now. Let's start with the mutant, shall we? I'd really like to hit this guy. So Mike is moving up. I guess the question is, can we shred him? Fifty-fifty. If we if we are going to hit him. That would be awesome, and we're most likely going to kill him. Missed. Because our follow-up would be a 100% hit. Good copy. Moving into full cover. 18% is not a lot. Two of them are burning, so they are essentially not doing anything. 61% to hit him. If we're dead eyeing him, it's 50 50. Hmm. I think we're going for dead eye. Could be death from above. Unfortunately, a miss. I'm going. 
We are going to fortify. And this is most likely not going to kill him. Maximum damage would kill him, would not kill him because we don't have armor penetrating rounds. That was maximum damage and it was a crit, but it still did not kill him. Good, in which case we are going to aid protocol Dark Tower Noxus. Together with his defense, he's at full cover. I think we need all of the damage that we can get. Those guys, however, are burning, so they're not doing anything, which means killing this guy is sort of pointless. Mutant is unfortunately immune to melee attacks and can counter attack, and we really don't want that to happen. Instead, let's move up and see what else we can find. Good, so they are burning, which is perfect. As long as they continue uh, to burn, they cannot do anything. We're immune against fire. Thanks to the hazmat uh, vests. These guys will just move around and probably die burning. Good, we gotta speed, speed up the rest of the process here. Drones are moving in. Sniper first. At 100% shot. Now we could have used the dead eye shot. I think we're going for the drone here. Perfect. Death from above. Let's use the holo target. I don't think that we need to mark him. No, we're going to be fine. 99% is going to be good enough to hit. I feel very confident today. That is 35 um, supplies worth of loot right there. Hundred percent chance to hit and chain shot would still be a hundred percent chance. So luckily we have marked him, which means we can now start hitting him. Very nice hit. Alright, moving back to the other side. 
immune to fire. And let's kill the drones. There you go. Moving over to here. And this here would be vision increase. I like the squad side, but I'm not willing to risk uh, the boost just for it. It's okay, it's not that good. Let's kill the Grenadier. Sun Lancer is going to die automatically. And we're just going to overwatch, no need to advance. Some monster just died. And we have killed five, six enemies in two and a half turns. We gotta keep it moving though. Okay, I think the best way to enter, to be honest, is really through a combination of uh, taking the low ground here and also some high ground and breaching upstairs. This stone um, tree tree formation isn't so good for shooting uh, for aiming angles. You usually want to kind of aim for a situation like this, where you have free um, line of sight. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move up. Double time. Dr. Noxus moves up. Rolling out. Taking some extra loot over here. I can handle that. I like it. Advanced expanded magazines are great. Mike is moving up. Beat, beat. And Diva is, although it's not high ground, taking this position because it uh, offers a nice shooting angle into the house all the way through it. Good. We're almost getting there. This round we made a lot of progress, thanks uh, to our ability to still scout out. All right, moving in. Can't fully see the target yet, but we're close, which is great. Moving over here, just to double check that we're not 
triggering another pack. to here. Copy that. Got some ads right here. Interesting. We pulled a drone. But that's fine, we can handle it. It would be drone number three. So seven enemies are down, 13 to 15 should be the overall count. Mike is moving up and as you can see, we're really moving uh, towards the target. Very aggressive overall. What's over there? And an overwatch. Quick feed reloads, and I think next turn we might e what? Okay. Next uh, turn we might even be able to um, to hack the target. There's another pack, and. Of course, we're taking some damage. By the way, uh, mind you, we are in cover, so it's mildly ridiculous uh, that we that we're taking that sort of damage. I just cannot agree with the design principle that they get a free turn. It's somewhat arbitrary. I think the game is frozen. Let me fix that. All right. Apparently it was not recoverable, but I don't want to quote unquote cheese the system here. So we're going to uh, replay the exact same turn, which is moving to here. And we move to here. Afterwards, we moved into cover. Then, afterwards, we were taking the move all the way over here, triggering the drone. Afterwards, we took a shot and eliminated the drone. Well, and therein lies the problem with the random numbers. Uh, now we cannot no longer just ignore it. Is it clear? We're moving up. Let's try to kill the drone. I'm basically one overwatch short against this guy over here. Hmm. Okay, in order to fix that... Yeah, that is not 100% the original move. And I apologize for it. But there is really, once uh, the RNG, uh, the seed to hit is always the same, but the seed to deal damage is randomized, which means I was insured the hit, but 
it effectively turned into a grazing shot. Yeah, too bad. Well, a couple of vipers are allowed to overwatch. And this time we haven't triggered the other pack. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's really only so much I can do. I don't like it when the game does not allow me to replay uh, it exactly the same way, but if it freezes, there's only so much I can do. Good, that's a single kill. Now, how do we deal with all of uh, those vipers? I already know that there's a second pack, which kind of spoils the fun. See, that's why I uh, why I hate uh, safe scumming. Um, I just I think it's a really really uh, some people like to do it, but uh, for me it just takes the fun completely away. So just knowing that there is a second pack. Um, already makes it less appealing. Lighting reflexes. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. Good. Mike Bravo, the public, moves in. Roger that. Yeah, and we're not suppressing because we're low on ammunition. Overall, we should be fine. I don't like us being in half cover over here though. I really like to take the full cover over here, but that will trigger another overwatch shot, which I don't want. So let's see if we can somehow manage to deal with that. Viper, no, we cannot. All right, still, let's try to hit the Vipers that we can hit. A lot of 50-50 shots. We're certainly not going to shoot at that one. Reloading. Highest the chance for a stun. Hmm. Two thirds. But hitting it might even kill it. No percent chance uh, that it would kill it. But we can really soften it up. Well, or in that case, we're just going to kill it. Which means. We are okay with the suppression. Yeah, why not? Let's go for suppression, which effectively suppresses the uh, special abilities. And we, we have some more time. I'd like to get over here. That's even a better position. An alternative is getting up here. Hmm. No. Just gotta remove that wall and everything else is fine. In the meantime, let's move over here. 
kind of out of line of sight. Overwatch. And we just triggered another pack. Hello there. May I again say how incredibly stupid the immediate reaction uh, is? I'm all right. I'm spotted. All right, we got a lot of enemies. Good, let's soften up the mech, maybe even kill it. It's softened up, okay. Well, that could very well deal with both of them. Two for one. Could also move to here and simply shoot the rocket in into the enemies. This here is simple. We can slash and slash, and that'll deal with the vibe. What? What? Minimum damage in both of the cases? Are you kidding me? Move up to here. Nice little flanking position. Uh, we still got enough time. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Good. Well, not good that the ammo is running low, but good that we've dealt with uh, most of the others. Vipers are almost down. We could move all the way up to here, giving ourselves fortify and essentially Killing this guy. Hmm. We still got Mike Bravo here. And those two are a problem, so I think we should remove them. Bring in the pain. I'm surprised. that the mech is still standing after all of this punishment. We're looking at 100% hit. 
which means we can reload and then kill the mech. Reinforcements are going to drop very soon. And we have three enemies left over. It's a question. If we were to fortify, we're actually in a good position. You know what? Let's do that. First a normal move. Good. We only got those three clowns here. Running and gunning. Is this guy really standing there? We could as well position ourselves here. It's considered full cover because we have just used our fortify. But we would need to kill him. I'm pretty sure that's the better position. I, I'm still confused as of where those guys are standing. Yeah, lucky us that we have taken the, um, the cover position. Because elsewise, um, he could have shot us without cover. The position that we're currently having is super strong. Of course, not against uh, the reinforcements, but against the rest. Alright, some hits into full cover, but that's okay. No longer poisoned, great. So, whom are we going to kill first? This pretty solid question here. Hmm. They're just out of range. How convenient. Two turns. We can't take any detour. We need to go to the target, which means we gotta remove the guy up here. That'll be a 100% hit, but we're going to be flanked from here, which is not optimal. The turn is actually more complicated than one would expect. 
We're going to take the overwatch shot from here. And I definitely need to reload soon. Alright, this here is going to kill him. Perfect, one down. We will take some damage and we will need to we will need to tank some hits. Moving over here. Unfortunately, just not a flanking position. 35% is not what I was looking for. We could area suppress in order to make it harder for them. Moving over to here will uh, give a nice flanking shot once he gets in here. Moving over to here will mean that the Viper could move to here. But that's still the better position. We are flankable from this window, however. Fifty-fifty to kill the Viper. And quick feet delivers. Good job, buddy. Well, effing done. Moving the sniper all the way over to here. By the way. Almost forgot that we need to get out of here. Let's try. Hmm. I mean, this here should work, technically. This here works even better. What's our chance for eliminating this guy? Okay, that's 100%, which is great. That's exactly what I was looking for. Which means, if we're moving up to here... And if we're stunning, it's a 90% chance. Good enough for me. Let's try to take him out. Good. Very good. Which now means we can get rid of the advent sentry. And we're suppressing, suppressing the Advent Captain over here. So no grenades and he'll take overwatch shots if he moves. That all you got? Good, next turn we're going to see some more reinforcements. Moving over here. Solid copy. Eighty percent chance. Ah, oh, we're going with a chain shot. Because why the fuck not? Let's go. 
Mike Bravo. Completely kills this guy. We are moving in, and we're hopefully getting the container this turn. Yeah, let's go for Alien Alloys. We can definitely need more. Uh, we definitely need more of them, even if it's just a small amount. Time to mop up. Good to go. We are reloading and hopefully we can kill this guy. 96% chance. <sighs> Not successful. What's over there? Moving to here. Pistol Overwatch. Dropping down and let us reload. Unfortunately, we're going to take another shot. We've got Advent here. Three more enemies just have spawned. That's going to be a flanking shot. Yeah, luckily, it's not the worst. It sort of worked out for us. Good, moving in. I hope it's worth it. Let's get the sergeant. Are you kidding me? He's still alive. That is one tough mother F. Time to kill the trooper. One down. Thousands to go. Trooper down. Moving over here and reloading. Mike Bravo unfortunately is out of ammunition. Gotta deal with the advent first. Reloading. And that's a 50 50. Uh, we almost had the chance to kill all three of them, and now that chance is gone. Instead, we're moving over here. Well, 
That's a satisfying kill. We're going to attack him. It's not going to kill him, but he's going to attack us and we're retaliating because we got the retaliation talent and are going to retaliate kill him. Sounds complicated, but the way that the AI works is it's going to definitely attack us. We're going to retaliate and that'll make the Sun Lancer regret his life decisions. Well, maybe not. I stand corrected. Just runs all the way over here. Good. We're moving over here in the hopes of uh, killing this guy. Stun Lancer down. Thank you. Quick Feet took a few shots this run. Not going to lie, I was expecting it to be a bit easier. Even if we're being hit, I want to kill this guy. Okay, very annoying enemies. Let's slowly but surely move out of here. Get two more rounds until evac. Is it clear? On Overwatch. And we're moving everyone back. Good, we got two Overwatches, and I don't know what kind of reinforcements are going to show up. Unfortunately, they are showing up this round, which means we need to deal with them. We don't have any chance of ignoring them. And that is plenty of hit points right there. Unfortunately, our um, Overwatch didn't do anything. Perfect. I love it how they are positioning in a way that uh, we will have a huge trouble just to get to them. Clever positioning. I'm going. going to give him uh, give him that. Can't even see this guy. S usually we need to start with a max. And this was unfortunately just a grazing shot. Dark Tower moves over. 
fortifies this position and let's hope we can kill the mech. Yep, that worked out well. So if we were to attack, well, that's not too bad. We do have shredding here, so that should deal with the armor. Moving up to here. Really solid damage. We are running and gunning up to here. That is going to kill the mech. Impressed yet. I need ammo. Afterwards, let's kill the trooper. And the only one that's left over is the shield bearer, whom we can deal with next round. Keep in mind, although we've dealt really a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, points of damage, we still w weren't able to just kill them in one turn. That's how many hit points are dropping down. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Okay. Taking that quite literal. There's no need for us to stay any longer in here. Location confirmed. So, one, two, three. Four. Five. And six. Good. Overall, it worked out well, but we took a lot of damage in the latter part of uh, the mission. It was difficult, though. In all fairness, it was just nine turns. And you've seen how close it was. 24 enemies. Yeah, reasonably difficult. Perfect. I am hoping for one or two promotions. Great. Dark Tower got a promotion and those who were injured, well, Quick Feet got eight days, which is a lot. Dark Tower. Ooh, I like the massive flamethrower. That one is very nice. I mean, I like the Javelin rocket because it allows you to trigger um, enemies from way further.
and it's good. I don't know that one. Well, it seems to be new. Attacks with your gauntlet, do one damage. This applies to both rocket launcher and flamethrower weapons and fires, uh, they said. Hmm. That's not bad. I like the increased flamethrower range, though. The biggest problem of the flamethrower is often its limited range. And you do have two charges from the get-go, right? So I think we're going to go with increased flaming range. Yeah, hmm. Cyclic fire is good. I like tactical sense. But I think we're going to go for Salvo because it's just so much better. Action economy is the king. Rapid fire and Salvo is probably what we're going to go for. Yep, Salvo and rapid fire. I'm happy for Dark Tower. Turned out to be much more competent uh, as a technician than, than I thought. Not because it's Dark Tower, but because technicians uh, had historically had issues as a class. So, what are we going to do, guys? Let's take a look. See, resistance contacts. Last video I already told you about, as soon as, you're, uh, as you have filled up your resistance contacts, it's very easy to get a scan for additional resistance contacts. So we're definitely going to take that one. Good. Resistance members in East Africa, so that is North Africa here, can now start to recruit again. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Continue to recruit. And not only are we going to do that, we're also taking a Haven Advisor, Dark Tower, for now you're helping these guys to recruit. Good, we got a smash and grab down here, so that's the next uh, mission for us. And is there anything else that we need to do? Oh, what? Unstaffed scientist. Oh, that's the extra scientist uh, which we've gotten. Perfect. So our laboratory is now finally staffed fully. As soon as we're, as we have uh, dug through the power coil here, we'll be able to get another power relay. That'll free up these two um, engineers, essentially giving us more time in the proving grounds. Yeah, and what else would we want to build? Probably resistance communications is a good further building. Can we further upgrade the ring? 40 supplies for an additional slot. I think we should do that. That's a permanent buff and a good one. So let's shortly do that and afterwards we're ending today's mission because uh, today uh, this uh, episode because we're ready to go and do the next mission. In terms of selling something, that's 25. 
I keep the Alarium course. We already been through that exercise. We don't need the nanoscale of this anymore, not right now. We got hazmat vests and they are just better than the nanoscale vests. It's okay to have a couple of them just in case if you really, really need it. But I think the upgrade here is helpful. Also consumes all of the power, but yeah. We could also get another slot, but we don't have enough power. No, that's fine. Good. That's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed that uh, tiny mission. Let's keep it up. If you like what you've seen, leave a comment down below and give uh, the video a like. Thank you so much and see you in the next uh, mission. Bye-bye.